tripping But now I can fly, I felt something I never felt Came closer, you gave me Guys, this, what I'm having in my hands, is the most powerful Android TV box in the world. Not a B-Link, not a Mikul, not even NVIDIA Shield at all. This is Mechatronics R58 Mini uh, PC, which has four different operative systems. Ubuntu and of course Android are the most famous one, but I'll be reviewing this TV box as an Android TV box. Comes with Android 12. Insane specs, guys. Anyway, welcome back. My name is Mohammed from TechUtopia YouTube channel. Assalamu alaikum and peace be upon you like always. Uh, please make sure to watch this video till the end. I'll be trying to do benchmarking 4K, 8K YouTube streaming. If is it possible, 8K or see something else. And of course, gaming, which is very important. And later on, I'm going to even make some separate video regarding emulation with this Android TV box, guys. Octa-core chip up to 16 gigabytes of RAM, guys. That's crazy. Up to 8K, 60 FPS support. Remember this. 8K 60 FPS support. Four different platforms, OIS, of course, two, eight, three, yeah, one minute, what the heck, I'm having three HDMI port with this version. Oh, oh, a lot of cool stuff. Anyway, we'll be beginning, of course, uh, firstly with the hands-on, then we're gonna move with the testing. Remember, the buying links will be in the description. You can buy it from a China uh, website for 250 bucks, I think, so the base model. On AliExpress, uh, this one is selling from 300 to 400. The base model of 4 GB of RAM, I think so, is selling for 300 bucks, guys, on AliExpress. So I'll leave the buying links in the description and you decide where you can buy it for the cheapest price tag. Remember, some websites offer free shipping for other countries, some they don't offer free shipping, or some kind of, some websites do offer uh, multi-global countries destination so they can ship to worldwide countries, some websites they can't ship. Nevertheless, guys, enjoy this video. Let's go, bismillah. Okay, just quickly for a few minutes, we'll be talking about this uh, basically mini PC box. I repeat again, four different uh, uh, OS, which is crazy. Anyway, on the front, we get, uh, we have three USB ports. One is 3.0, uh, two, uh, two more for USB 2.0 connectivity. Type-C USB port also, and power on button with the IR uh, reset and recovery button, which is very, very nice, guys. On the side, believe it or not, we have also DP port and SATA port. Yes, you can connect a SATA external, uh, of course, driver. And on the back, we have a DC port for power, three HDMI ports, uh, uh, sorry for that, HDMI in, out one and out two, and LAN port plus antennas, guys. Like, so unfortunately, this TV, uh, this mini PC doesn't have an SD card expansion, only SATA uh, memory expansion, just have that in mind. You could use, obviously, USB stick, that's not a problem. Anyway, so what do we have? Uh, by the way, guys, I love this controller. Very neat controller here. Uh, we do have also a mouse option. That's very nice of them. I love that. And also we have, it seems that it has voice uh, search option. I hope this works, man. I seriously hope this works with the Google. Anyway, guys, we have Rock Chip RK3588 octa-core chip. Uh, of course, Mali G610 four-core GPU. That's gonna be insane to test. Six tops NPU and 8K 10-bit decoder with 8K encoder. Again, that is like I said to you, to you guys. You can select up to 8K 60 FPS. Never ever in my life had a more powerful mini PC than this one that has Android. Just have that in mind. Of course, you could find uh, Intel or Ryzen mini PCs that have only Windows, but not a PC mini PC that has four different uh, operating systems, especially Android 12. Anyway, storage expansion and expansion, which you mentioned, is one SATA. Uh, what else we can tell you? Uh, HDMI ports up to two HDMI ports up to 8K 60 FPS and one, uh, of course, a DP port also up to 8K 60 FPS. You can also use a display port via USB port, guys. Remember that you can use a display port via USB C port over here, it's just over here, which is very, very nice. So you can basically go up to four independent display. It's very nice, maybe for coffee shops, for internet shops, etc., uh, etc. Et and what else we can tell you? I mean, that should be it, guys, uh, regarding that. Uh, not too many things to uh, say about it. We're gonna just basically do the stuff with my review. We have AV1 decoder, so you should have a super smooth 4K 60 FPS support uh, with the H.264 and H.265 encoder by 8K 30 Hz. Anyway, let's go now and connect it with my TV, guys, shall we? I repeat again, this is a video, uh, this video review is specifically for Android platforms. I will be just reviewing Android side of this TV box. Mini PC, I would say like that, yeah? Let's go. Okay, Ninja, so welcome back. Finally, here we go, here we go. I'm having this uh, mini PC box uh, uh, running right now with Android... Uh, <laughs> 
<laughs> operator system, which is guys, is insanely smooth. And the first thing which you're gonna notice immediately about this uh, mini box, mini PC box, is how fluid that is. It's insane, guys. Seriously, it's insane. So uh, let's immediately jump to the point uh, regarding the settings. Of course, you're gonna have standard stuff uh, regarding the, uh, the, of course, device preferences. Uh, we're gonna go to about here, and we're gonna see that it has Android TV OS, Android 12. That is beautiful, man. That is seriously beautiful, guys. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Anyway, let's go back here. Uh, regarding, uh, just a minute. So regarding the display at the beginning, since I'm having here a 4K TV, uh, I can go maximum 4K right now with my TV altogether. If, ha if you have a projector or TV that has an 8K support, guys, you can go with this mini, P uh, mini PC box up to four, uh, 8K 60 FPS. I repeat again, up to 8K 60 FPS, which I mentioned at the beginning, guys. Yeah, anyway. Let's go. So firstly, I'm gonna check the Play Store, how smooth, smooth it is and how, how fast it is. Check this out, guys, how fast that was, isn't it? Check it out here, the smooth experience while uh, scrolling around the Play Store. Again, <laughs> I love it. By the way, I'm also using this native, uh, native uh, basically default uh, uh, controller, which you're gonna get in the box. What I love about it, that it has this mouse support, guys, uh, of course, with the sensor option. So you can just simply move the mouse like this, uh, which obviously is gonna be way, way much faster than using uh, D-pad, basically the arrows on the controller. That's much, much, much better, isn't it? Uh, and you simply just, let's just say, go here, click WhatsApp Messenger, and we're gonna go down. Sorry for that. I'm gonna go back, disable it. I don't need it anymore. We're gonna go back here. Anyway, I think you get the point here. Speeds for downloading are also insanely good. This one has a dual band Wi-Fi, 2.4 and 5G, so you can use 5G if you have it in your home. Uh, camera, you can connect the camera with this mini PC box. DLNA, guys, which we will be testing it for the update. It is updated to the latest version. A live TV, I did uh, install different uh, live TV applications. We will be checking that. YouTube, we're gonna check YouTube in a minute. So guys, it's very clean TV box. You're gonna get maximum 10 apps. All these apps which you're seeing right now, I installed them by myself. Only this at the beginning, which you see, except the Asphalt uh, 9 are default, uh, default applications. Uh, anyway, so firstly, yeah, shall we begin firstly with YouTube or maybe go uh, right now with IDA64. And from here, we're gonna check it out that this one is running 64-bit RMV8. Oh my God, guys, that's gonna be very nice. Uh, nice. Why? Because I'll be doing an emulation review of this TV uh, mini, P mini PC box. I call it also TV box, guys. So uh, don't get confused. This is just way more powerful than any TV box out, uh, out there. Way more powerful than Nvidia, way more powerful than B-Link, Macool, Xiaomi TV boxes. Uh, anyway, what else we can see here? Display, uh, the GPU is Mali G610 4-core GPU. Uh, anyway, let's check it out here. The thermals, thermals are also very nice. Uh, the, uh, this TV, uh, this mini PC box doesn't overheat, guys. Very nice cooling system, very nice cooling system inside. And go here through the device info and check again more specs. You can pause this video, guys, if you want to check all these informations one by one. I'm gonna just go through through them very, very fast. Awesome stuff, awesome stuff, seriously, awesome stuff. Anyway, guys, maybe the only, uh, let's just say, con is that it doesn't have a Netflix uh, full HD, basically high quality support since the wide one is L3, uh, so it's locked, it's not wide one, L1. Maybe in the future they can do an update and unlock wide one, maybe it's possible, that is maybe possible. Uh, anyway, so that should be it, Khalas. let's go now immediately with the YouTube, shall we go? Check this out guys, so I'm using right now my mouse here, we're gonna go up to uh, 4K of course, check it out, so we're running 4K right now, wow, absolutely crazy guys, the quality is just amazing, it is buttery smooth, uh, I love this mini box, I love this mini, this rock chip is insane, I never, I never thought that I would be having uh, obviously a mini PC box that is more powerful than uh, a lot of old flagship devices like with the Snapdragon 845 example or Snapdragon 700 series it is more powerful than a lot of a lot of smartphones out there guys so this mini PC box is almost on the level of the Snapdragon 855 
for speed draw performance and for the gaming obviously it can't beat it but i'm telling you that it's close to the snapdragon a55 like i don't know maybe one plus seven what we have we have xiaomi mi 9 also it has snapdragon a55 but i mean you get the point here check this smooth smooth battery experience here at 4k 60 fps no lag whatsoever love it let's go now here with the hdr 4k 60 fps Let's select, this is right now 2K, we're gonna go to 4K, there you go guys, 4K 60fps, another test, remember guys this one has 3 HDMI ports, uh, obviously you can all together, uh, sorry for that, there's also Type-C uh, image of video output so you can connect four different uh, devices, uh, monitors, etc, etc. And I love that, seriously love that. And you could also use maybe some HDMI dongle to split the, the picture if that's possible, you can also do that, why not? But for now, uh, just breathtaking quality, breathtaking speed, performance and the quality. Okay, so uh, guys, before that, uh, before checking the TV, uh, some TV uh, application, let's go now and uh, select here the benchmarks. We'll be doing uh, checking the benchmark here, Geekbench 5. Let's go to Geekbench 5 first. Check this out, guys. Single core score 536, multi core score 2200, guys. 2200, that's amazing, guys. This rock chip chip is amazing, amazing beast. Uh, yes, I, I know that this TV uh, mini PC box is a bit pricey than the standard TV boxes. Uh, Nvidia Shield is selling for $200, this one is selling for $300, but again guys, it's just way more powerful than Nvidia Shield, way, way more powerful. And let's check Antutu, check this out guys, 450,000 Antutu, uh, <laughs> that's, a, that's a crazy score. That's honestly, it's a crazy, crazy store, a score. I can't believe that. Check it out the GPU score, guys. 164,000 for a mini PC box, an Android TV box. Tell you way, it's like, what the heck? It's like two, two, three times faster than every single uh, other Beelink, McCool, Xiaomi TV box out there, guys. Easily, it's, it's a monster. It's a monster, this one. So guys, just for the performance references, check it out that this TV uh, mini PC box is on the level of the Galaxy S10 Plus or Honor 20 Pro. I mean, you get the point guys. Or example, Realme 9 Pro Plus, or Galaxy M52, uh, or Huawei Nova 9. All of this is around half a million points, man. That is insane. That is seriously insane. Unbelievable. Well, it's more powerful than the Huawei P30 Pro with the Kirin uh nine wait 990 yeah i think so nevertheless crazy stuff so now check this out absolutely crazy man unbelievable performance here check this out guys here here are the final results let me just see can i even go down final results here 94 percent of its max performance if you thought of crazy great result crazy great result it's time to check some tv channels rapid streams guys can you use this one for TV channels, for TV apps? Of course you can, guys. This is Android 12. It can run every single app out there. Kodi, Viva, Rapid Streams, Cyberflix, uh, Movie HD, you name it. There we go. So we're going to go with the Arabian TV for the beginning. Arabian movies. Check this out, guys. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. Uh, did you notice the speed of opening these uh, TV apps? This TV channels. Okay, this one I can't use. Let's go with NBC. Check the speed, guys. Do you see the speed? Let's go with another one. Awesome stuff. See, it's awesome stuff. Obviously, guys, with the Kodi, you're gonna get better quality. Uh, this right now is very, uh, it's very, very low quality. Maybe if I just go, just a minute, let me try to find if there's an HD version of these channels. I think it should be NBC3 HD. Here we go. Okay, here we have an HD quality, 720p. So uh, with the Kodi, you can obviously with other TV channel, TV apps channels, I think you can go up to 1080p. Uh, but again, it works flawlessly, like I see myself, works flawlessly. I can maybe even go to UK, 
Let's check it out. What do we have in UK? Or maybe, yeah, let's go to UK TV channels. Uh, we have here NBC One. Let's try to run NBC One. Can we run NBC One from here? Yeah, we can. Very fast, very smooth. Let's see, can we run Comedy Central? We can't run Comedy Central on this app. Okay, Channel 4 maybe. Sky News running just fine. Not the great quality, but also Sky News run here with this TV app example. And plenty of other channels, guys. USA, uh, you name it. A lot of cool stuff. Nevertheless, you can see myself that everything works just flawlessly. Uh, anyway, files managers you can install. Uh, for now, I think that should be it. I'm not gonna bother you too much. Also, TikTok here works with this uh, TV mini PC box. Uh, before before doing the gaming for the end, guys, I'll be probably right now doing some uh, Wi-Fi display. I'll be connecting my phone and just to want to show you that it's gonna run really good. It's gonna run really good with the wireless connectivity. Uh, shall we do that? Shall we do that? Stay tuned. Okay, guys, what we're gonna do now is we'll be testing the wireless support of this mini PC box. Check it out, this is the quality of my Samsung device. Now using it, uh, connected it with the wireless Wi-Fi display support of this mini PC box and the quality is amazing, guys. I'm very, 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 very satisfied by the quality. Uh, if not, maybe this is the best wireless support that I so 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 far with the uh, android tv box i still call this android tv box since it, uh, it does have android operative system four different operative system but just works fine just ch check this out guys not just this and um, with the samsung s10e example you can use uh, also selfie video let me just show right now this check this out guys so you can use selfie video that is insane man. that is seriously insane check it out man. <laughs> peace love it seriously love it Anyway guys, uh, I repeat again what I want to tell you is this wireless support is still terrible for the gaming because of the input lag. Check this out guys, you see? This is unacceptable in gaming. In videos, uh, that's, it, makes no, it doesn't make any difference since you're gonna just put it like that and uh, watch the whatever you're gonna watch that's uh, delay in watching videos or something else since you're not gonna touch the screen you're gonna just watch uh, of course you're not gonna feel any delays whatsoever unless if you're gonna use maybe Facebook or Instagram touching scrolling then you're gonna obviously see the delay but if you're gonna just uh, fix your phone and watch something then that's completely acceptable since we also have this amazing amazing uh, video quality transmission uh, level that's uh, I love it I don't I don't even know how we can do like this man there's no lag guys that's that's very important there's no lag and there is no uh, transmission uh, uh, basically dropping the quality so low to uh, I don't know 240 or 480p which happens with many different mini PC boxes under TV boxes I noticed that in the last six years man I noticed a lot but this is the first time I'm seeing this kind of quality uh, using a wireless support I mean let me go to Jana and see it I said we'll be obviously finishing this video with the game Think there's any other device with this chip guys except except the mechatronics i'm not sure so they will need to update asphalt 9 for this chip guys it's very very important i noticed this only with the asphalt 9 other uh, games didn't have this lag the other games didn't have this lag Remember, I'm using a gamepad. I'll take that. Let's go next. 